Greetings. Today I would like to do a little video about sending professional audio into the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, primarily from Dante, using a Dante Avio USB-C adapter. The Pocket 3 has been out for a few months now, and this is not going to be an overview or a review of the Pocket 3. There are hundreds of videos for that already out on the internet, and I'm not gonna be redundant with them. There's no point. But I am gonna focus on using this with high quality audio. And you might be asking, well, isn't this Pocket 3 a vlogger camera? Why would you wanna be tethered to a Dante system? And if that's your use case, I totally get it. And if you want to turn off the video now, no judgment, understood. But if you want to see what you can do with professional audio, then please stick around. I look at the Pocket 3 as not so much a vlogger camera, I'm not a vlogger, but for things like behind the scenes at an event, right? So you might want to, you know, you put it into portrait mode, you're doing little short form content, which is going to be uploaded to social media while the event is on. You want quick turnaround. You're not going to have time to send it to an editor to sync up audio from an external source. Your talent is already mic'd up, boomed up, whatever the case may be. It could be a you know, also you got live band or whatever, and they're all going into the front of house mixer and you're taking a sub mix off of that. You get high quality audio into your short form clip that's going little or no editing straight to social media for the creation of buzz around the event that you're working on, right? That's just one example. I'm sure you can come up with others as well. So in order, before we get started with actually testing it on the Osmo, I figure I'll give a little bit of a background about how the audio here is currently routed. So you've been listening to me on this DPA 4188. That is their cardioid, i.e. directional headset microphone. So it's designed to pick up what this person is saying, but reject from around them, right? Of course, no cardioid is perfect rejection, but it does reduce the amount of ambient noise that gets picked up. This is going into a Axion digital body pack transmitter. That is going to the receiver. The receiver is then sending it via Dante to a Cedar DNS 8D, which is doing noise reduction because this room has a ton a background noise in it. This is home office. It is not designed. It's not treated. There's a server rack behind me that's got a lot of noise coming out of it. Fortunately, it's during the winter, so there's no noise coming from the air conditioner right now. But still, this room has a lot of ambient noise in it. And so that cedar does a great job of cleaning it up and making it so you don't hear that. From the cedar, it is then going Dante to the Scorpio to be recorded. And it is also going to this Dante Avio USB-C adapter. So I figure let's do a co couple of comparisons to see what you can get with audio in the Pocket Osmo 3. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and let it to face detect and now it's tracking me and this is recording the internal mics on the Pocket 3 and these are going to have a lot of noise because as I said the background noise in this room is quite high. I really wouldn't want to use the internal mics in this thing even if you were outdoors walking around vlogging with it I would still want to have a real mic on me with like their pocket, or their mic, the two that comes with the creator kit. So I'm going to stop this and 
speaking of the DJI Mic 2, I did buy the Creator Kit. And so let me turn this on. So the little blue light came on. I'm going to clip it in the V of this shirt like you typically see. And it is showing up as registered on the camera now. And so I'm going to start recording again. And so now you are hearing me from the DJI Mic 2 being recorded on the Pocket 3. Now, even though the DJI Mic 2 is communicating with the Pocket 3 via Bluetooth, unfortunately DJI does not let you connect to arbitrary Bluetooth headset devices, right? Which means you cannot use the Dante Bluetooth audio adapter. And this would be kind of nice, right? Even though it's slightly less audio quality than the USB-C because Bluetooth versus wired, it gives you the freedom of being able to walk around and not be have a cable tether in to the Pocket 3. So it would be really nice if they added a feature to the Pocket, or the Pocket 3 that lets you pair it with an arbitrary Bluetooth headset profile device because then we could use this and get a little bit of more freedom to, to move around, right? So the thing that makes the professional audio possible on the Pocket 3, and it's also on a couple of their other more recent cameras, like I think it's on the Action 4. I don't know if it's on the ones before that or not. I'm not really a DJI camera person, sorry is that it allows you to connect devices to it via USB-C that are USB audio class compliant, and it will accept two channels of audio in, although you can also set it to mono, and it will also send out audio. So if you were using USB headset, right, for monitoring or playback, checking it during playback, you can do that. In the case of Dante, you can send that to a headphone amp, to PA speakers, whatever, if you really want to get crazy with your playback from the Pocket 3, and it works. There are a couple of different USB-C ports on this thing. Technically, it's just one. It is the USB-C port on the bottom, right? And if we connect to that, I now have audio coming in and it is also charging the device because the Dante USB-C device, Avio, can also provide power through USB-C power delivery up to 10 watts. And with the testing I did with this, it looks like the camera to run takes three to four watts. And then everything over and above that, it will use to charge. And so, this is working. Uh, you probably can't see that the battery icon has a little lightning strike in it, but it is charging. The second thing they give you is this little mini base that clips onto the bottom and puts the USB-C USB port on the back. And this is kind of helpful, like to A, it gives you a little bit more to grip it from. It gives you the quarter inch uh, thread to put a tripod stand. This is the little tripod stand that comes with Pocket 3 co creator combo. And if you were using something like, say, one of the other consumer wireless kits like a Rode Wireless Go or a Hollyland or Ceremonic or whatever, right? They're all USB-C audio class on the receiver output. So you connect it to this and you can record one or two channels. The last thing they have is this battery expansion. So this is about twice the height. Let's see if I can hold that better. 
about twice the height as the little dummy block. Has an extra U battery in it. I have not been able to get audio to pass through this at all. It will charge this. And by the way, this charges at a maximum of about 15 watts. So their documentation saying to use their 30 or 60 watt power bricks doesn't matter. It's never going to charge with more than 15 watts. And if the camera is turned on, you'll see it pulling about 18 because again, three to four watts to run the camera above and beyond charging. So the most I've ever seen going through this is about 18 and a half watts. Their documentation, the Facebook support group, et cetera, all talks about how this has to have power in order to be able to pass USB-C audio. This, even with fully charged, I don't get USB-C audio through this. But it's not the end of the world because when you're using the USB-C adapter with the camera, it's gonna be charging the camera anyway. So the little tiny battery in the camera itself, you don't really have to worry about that running out because you're gonna be charging it while sending it audio. So I'm gonna hook up the audio. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off the mic two because if this is on, the Pocket 3 will not use the USB-C audio coming in. It will only use the DJI Mic 2. So now I'm going to start another recording on. And so with this recording, you are hearing. Let's see if I can do this so that you can also read the labels, right? So audio is coming from this USB-C adapter from Dante Audinate going in as an audio class device. I don't know if you can see the green line jumping around, but it is jumping around. This is currently set to record stereo. And so you should be hearing me in both channels right now. And it's losing itself. Hang on. And see if it can pick up on me again. It doesn't doesn't want to start face tracking again for some reason. Bugs, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you should now only be hearing me in the left channel. And now you should only be hearing me in the right channel. And now we are back to centered left, right. And it still does not want to do face tracking. Not sure. Exit. Turn it back on. And now it's enabled. Don't know why it lost it, but it lost it. So like I say, you are hearing me through the Pocket 3, but this should be basically the same audio quality, almost. The Scorpio is recording as a 24-bit wave file, so no compression, whereas the Pocket 3 records as 16-bit AAC. I don't know, they, I haven't seen anything that says what bit rate they use for the AAC. I'm gonna guess 128 or 256. And so there is some compression being applied. So that will make this sound a little bit different than what you get through the Scorpio. And I'm going to stop the recording again on the pocket. So I hope that was helpful showing that you can in fact send high quality audio from a professional system like Dante into the Pocket 3. Yes, 
it does mean you're tethered, but like I say, for certain use cases, a little behind the scenes stuff, or maybe as a CCAM or whatever, it lets you get high quality audio straight into the device to minimize editor work in post. So you don't have to worry about trying to sync up external audio and have it go out and sound good. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Cheers.